Hello and welcome back. Today we're going to be doing IV lines. So we're going to be talking about how to put up a IV cannula. I'm going to tell you all the tips and tricks. So if you're you know, new to this and you're learning how to do this process, stay tuned. Uh, let's see how it turns out. For this demonstration, I won't be wearing gloves just because it's easy to see what I'm doing. So first step, we obviously make sure that we have everything, right? So I have got my flush, which I have already pulled up, which is fine. I've got stuff to clean the site. I have a cannula, oh sorry, a tourniquet, what am I saying? And we have our IV um, cannula or our, our gelco, our fluids, something to clean up some blood and something to tie the IV line down. These come in all you know, shapes and sizes. You can use tape, whatever you got. So first of all, we have to obviously gain consent from the patient, tell them what's happening, tell them why this is gonna hurt. Um, the more we'd say that it's gonna be really painful, um, the less they're likely to pull away rather than being like, it's gonna be a little sharp, you know, scratch and meanwhile it's very sore. We'd rather than be fully aware of what it could be like. So hands are clean, got my gloves on, got on my ready. So I'm gonna start palpating a vein. Cool, I've got a nice vein right along here. It doesn't really matter which vein you go for, as long as you're going, your needle needs to face in the direction of the blood flow and, the, and in the arm, the vein is carrying blood up, right? So we've cleaned the site. We have our IV cannula. I am using a small IV cannula uh, just because it's a plastic mannequin, makes smaller holes. Uh, we've got all these things ready. The trick with this is we obviously have this now in our shops are in hand. The more fingers you hold it with, the more control you have of it. Right. So if I am holding it at the end, I like this, and I'm trying to direct it like this, I have very little control. But the more fingers I have on it, I can put four, nearly five fingers on this, and you can tell the difference of how much more control I have of this. Right. So cleaning methods that I did just briefly go over is that you can, there's a basket weave, there's the circular weave, there's all sorts of these ways of doing it, as long as it's clean. So now that it's clean, we have our vein. It just feels like this round ball thing that when you push down, it kind of bounces back up. It's exactly what we want, right? Then the tip, or I guess the trick to this is that typically you'll hear say, you know, go in at 45 degrees. I find that that's sometimes too um, deep or too of a large angle. And then we just tend to go straight through the vein because the vein's obviously traveling at this angle and we're going in at that angle. So I find that actually going in at a much smaller angle works much better, if not right close to the skin especially if you have um, elderly people or people who are diabetic. The other point is that there is a bevel. So there is a curved edge, there's, there's a pointy edge. The bevel must be facing up so that it digs into the skin, right? So you find the vein and you're going to go into the vein and you're gonna push and push and push until you feel a give. There we go, I felt that give. So as you can see, what's happening is that the we're having our first flashback, right? The back of this cannula is filling up with blood or this is water, so this is very runny water, right? It's not going to run like blood runs. Now what we do is the best advice I could give you is advance it about a millimeter, all right? What that doing is making sure that the plastic bit that is around the metal bit, um, if you don't know what I'm talking about, I made a video about you know, what these look like and how these function each individually. And we make sure that the cannula is in the vein then we flatten it to down and we just push the blue bit or whatever the, the cannula bit in. We can also at this point take off that. We just push the blue part in. Can be done with one hand or two hands, whatever the case is. If you just advance it like this, just advance the whole piece because then we're just pushing the plastic bit in. And there we go, and we can stop, right? It shouldn't be bleeding. We can stop right there. Like there is there is no problem. We now have control of the of the situation. Little trick I have learned is that if you get something that's going to absorb some blood really nicely, we just chuck that underneath to pick up whatever blood we're gonna get, because it probably is gonna bleed. And and my odds is gonna bleed badly. We're then putting our finger at the end of where we think the cannula is. And then starting to have a little bit of bleeding. We pull this out, sharps away, and closed up. And there we go. And you see, so there was some bleeding, well, I guess water running, and um, this caught all of it, right? So we don't have a mess under the patient or anything like that. We just have a little bit of blood on the skin, which is fine. We can dry this up and we can throw that away. Our IV line is now in, we assume. So now what we're gonna do is we're gonna take our flush, we're gonna pop open this cap at the top, we're gonna insert this inside and we're going to push, and we're gonna pause, and we're gonna wait. We're looking for any swelling or bulging, right? Because if it swells or bulges or anything like that, then we obviously have burst the vein or we've gone through the vein and we're in the tissue. That's not what we want. We are needing to be in the vein. So now I know I'm in the vein, I can then keep on flushing just a little bit more. We are definitely in. Great, so when it comes down to tying it down, there's many a way to tie this down. 
Um, like I said, sometimes there's, some people will use tape, some people will use whatever the case is. There we go. So as long as that, in this case, the blue bit, as long as the blue bit is taped down, it's not going to go anywhere. There we go. So if we need to give any fluids, we can push it through the top. Um, if we then want to attach anything else, we can just attach a three-way tap. So our three-way tap can then also be attached there if we want to, which then allows us to give fluids. And maybe if we have an infusion or whatever the case is, um, we can have that all attached to this one ivy line. And that is how you put up an ivy line. If you enjoyed this, uh, please let me know in the comment. Or if you think maybe I could have done something a bit differently, or maybe you do something a bit differently, please let me know. If you did enjoy this, please have a look at this video. Uh, I think you'll like that too.